Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to manage stress in the oil and gas industry, specifically during a job search. I've been in this situation a couple of times and I will share from my experiences what I've done in order to manage my stress during this difficult period. Before we get to the content, please be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get content in oil and gas and professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on the video below so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Be sure to hit that notification bell whenever you do subscribe because I upload every Friday and every Sunday. Every Friday is a professional development topic and every Sunday is a technical review. Well, let's get to the content. The first tip I'm going to talk about in terms of managing stress in the oil and gas industry, specifically during a job search, is finding a hobby. Finding a hobby can be difficult, especially when you have a lot on your mind, such as how to pay the bills, how to find your next gig, when to, where to network, who to talk to, where to find your next lead. There's plenty of questions on your mind. If, for example, you do have all these questions on your mind, you might want to try diverting your attention to investing in your hobbies. For me, I love reading books, specifically self-help books or professional development books. Those books have helped me improve myself and take the skills that I need to apply to not just on the job, but also in a job search and managing stress too. So I would suggest finding a hobby, investing your time in your hobbies, and you may find yourself giving yourself the downtime that you need and not always having to be on the search all the time. The next tip I'm going to talk about is keeping the pace. Keeping the pace means that you don't have to invest 20 hours in doing a job search and then doing nothing the next three days. I'm talking about pacing yourself in terms of doing a few hours each day, but being consistent while you're doing it. This will help you keep your momentum, not burn out too quickly, and also have a healthy balance in you, what you're supposed to do in terms of your job search, but also invest in other things in your life. There's more to life than just looking for a job, for instance. Even though those this period is a little bit difficult in terms of how you spend most of your time during your day is through a job, I would say this take this opportunity to pace yourself. And while you're looking for a job is your job, you may want to consider just evening out the work throughout the week similar to how would you even out the work throughout a work week when you do have a job. It is no different, although there is no stream of income. I would just suggest that you treat this the same way as if you are in a full-time job and that you don't have to finish everything in a certain period. Or on the other hand, you don't have to spend multiple days doing nothing at all that doesn't keep the momentum and that also doesn't give you any positive results from my experience. Doing something for a long, for a short period of time and then doing nothing for a few days is not a good habit to keep. You will burn out pretty quickly when you do that. The third tip I'm going to talk about is perspective. Perspective meaning every single time you meet somebody when you are networking or when you're just meeting somebody to catch up, take it as a gift. Because when you're talking to somebody, you're sharing your story. And when you're sharing your story, you're letting people know that you are on the lookout for something and more people will have you in mind whenever a job does come up in a job search. I will say that you need to stay positive whenever you have this perspective because every single person you meet is somebody that is one step closer to reaching your goals. And I would suggest that instead of looking at it as an energy waster or something that's going to drain your time, I would say that this is a perfect opportunity for you to share your story and to re-energize yourself whenever you're reaching out to people. I can understand that, especially when you're communicating with people all the time, especially for introverts, this can drain your energy quite a bit. 
but as long as you keep the mindset that this is giving you one step closer to your goals and to your aspirations, a job, for instance, then this will lessen the stress. And that's a wrap, everyone. Those are three easy tips to manage stress in the oil and gas industry, specifically in a job search. As I mentioned before, please be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get more content in the oil and gas industry and in professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on this video so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.